There's an interesting trend in Smash where how good a character's game is has absolutely zero influence on where they are on the tier list. Sonic 06, notoriously one of the worst games of all time. Sonic's top five. Oh, but Legend of Zelda, yeah, I've heard of that one. It's like universally loved and, you know, critically acclaimed series. Ganon is the worst character in the game. I think that's kind of unfair. So with the help of Susie Z, I decided to readjust some characters today based on how good their games are. We were a little creative with character changes here because we wanted to value consistency. First, we took the rating of the most recent mainline game in every series in Smash, averaged them up, and bam, got the score of 83.6. We then looked up the best rated and worst rated mainline games for a character, specifically for the fellas you guys requested, and modded in changes based on those scores. So first up, we got Kazuya and Inkling. We made it so that if a game is better than that 83 score, we mentioned earlier, they get a buff. If it's lower, they get a nerf. So any character could have two buffs, two nerfs, or a buff and a nerf. So for example, Tekken 3 is a good ass game, and so Kazuya got a big buff with his size. However, Tekken 4 is rated lower than that 83 score, and so his nerf is we made his smash attacks weaker. Same idea with Splatoon, and I'd let you know the changes, but I think this game's already over. And so every character in this little tournament is gonna have these changes. Let's see who comes out on top and takes it all with their newfound powers. Ooh, next we got my boy Ike and Ridley. So Ike is interesting because he actually has, like, we could have used all of Fire Emblem for Ike, but he has two, oh, okay, Ike, just start with Smash Attacks. We use Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, two of Ike's main games, but they're both kind of moving. Yeah, we made them both faster. Both of their games did solidly. Ridley was actually supposed to be a favorite to win this. His buff is crazy. It's just that the CPU doesn't know. It's extremely strong. If it's just Smash Attacks, Ike is going to die at like 10%, but... We'll see if he finds out. We might see a shield break later on. Yeah, there we go, Ridley. That's what we did to you, big guy. Look, you're dead. Easily. 44%? Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, wait. Okay, Ridley. You know your powers now. This fast Ike is actually a menace. Oh, my goodness. He's a menace and a half. He's a menace and a half. Let's go, Ike. Okay, baby. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Ridley was supposed to be a, a favorite to win the whole thing. But again, if you don't know your strengths, can't use them. I'm sure Jesus had a quote like that or something. Okay, Banjo and Olimar, two very hype characters. Yeah, we all know Banjo-Kazooie, goaded game, so he's a big boy, but we made him very, very slow because Banjo and Kazooie, nuts and bolts, was kind of ass, kind of ass. All right, this is actually probably going to take a while now that I think about it. Um, editor, <laughs> help us out here. Oh my gosh, first stock. Finally, uh, see the thing is Olimar didn't get buffed like crazy. It's a good series. No bad games, but no amazing games either Let's go Banjo oh, The last time I asked you guys for suggestions. This, this is ass. This is ass. I hope you know this. This is your fault Look at that. He's camping across the stage with his big ass eggs. Okay, that works Hey, there we go. My girl Daisy made it someone some extremely knowledgeable intellectual viewer Recommended Daisy. Daisy doesn't have her own games. Um, so I just use her Mario Party scores or use Mario Party to, to base her ranking. So, yep, we do not talk about Island Tour. Star Fox, the first, the OG one, yeah, that was bussin'. But then after that, yeah, Fox, he w wasn't that good. The game's not that good. And so now he's, he's a slow, he's a slow guy. We made him slow, but he's also bigger. Yeah. Yeah, so for Daisy, because Island Tour was so ass, we just kind of removed her float. And so, yep, she, one of her biggest attributes at, for the character is just gone now. Daisy's turnips also all do less damage now. So she's just kind of ass. Uh, honestly, Fox, can we just put her out of her misery? This this is, uh, this is a little tragic. All right, the battle of mid has concluded. Ooh, baby. We got some trash here. Wait, someone just entered the arena. No, we have to pause until we can, security has to escort them out. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Factor 75? Oh, fellas, this is a premier MVP and actually the sponsor of today's video. You might think the food in Smash is delicious, but Factor is something else. They sponsored me in the past and I've been a fan ever since. One of my biggest gripes with making food is how long it takes to make. And if I want to make the game in time, something that is ready to eat in two minutes or less is exactly what I need. Cleaning up is even easier and with a rotating weekly menu of over 34 meal options and even more add-ons like smoothies and desserts, I always got time for Factor. Don't let the fast prep time mix you up though because Factor's food is fresh and never frozen and tastes phenomenal. Like, come on, look how beautiful this is. Chicken and mushroom tetrazzini this week. Shredded chicken taco bowl the next week. Oh, I'd be eating good, baby. Tasting good and being nutritious is kind of a broken combo. My roommate Yusuf lost over 80 pounds and says Factor was one of the main factors that let him do this. 
So what are you waiting for, fellas? Use my link or go to factor75.com and use my code FACTORSE44241 for 50% off your Fruits box. Make sure to click the link in the description. So in this whole list of characters we got, these two bozos got the worst scores for their worst video games. Sonic 06, which has a 46 on Metacritic, and then Wario, who has a 53 on WarioWare Snapped. I don't even know what that game is, but apparently it's pretty ass. However, Wario's best game was pretty good. WarioWare Twisted. And so for that reason, he's a little bigger. Just a little bit, not too much. And then Sonic Mania, great game as well. So for that reason, Sonic is also a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, and the thing that was actually made worse for them, Sonic is very, very slow now. Running and him like moving in the air, he is very slow. Look, look, look at the editor. What the f And then Wario, Wario can't all be anymore. <laughs> He made his pretty bad, not gonna lie. See, I haven't played many Sonic games. A couple here and there. My favorite is Sonic Adventure 2, bro. That's oh my gosh. One of the best video games I ever played. That made my childhood. I, I haven't played much Wario games. I don't know why I said much. I haven't played a Wario game. So I can't say much on him. But it, like he's he's fun in War Mario Party, he makes funny noises. Oh! And Wario wins! Yeah, baby! The evil has been defeated. The worst see this is how it should be. If you have a game, you shouldn't be that good. You should be down. Loser. You lose. Trash. Tone Link and Big G. Big G. Ocarina of Time. It's kind of a good game, bro. 99. However, so was Wind Waker. So Tone Link's bomb threw 25%, which is why you're wondering. Game is getting destroyed by this. I, I, go! Oh, get in! Your game is so much better! Well, not that much better, but still, jeez. Oh, okay. He loves that uptail. I don't know why. Oh my god. Okay, bro. This is a match and a half. Oh my gosh. Those bombs, though. Those bombs do so much. Oh, that was a true combo. Oh, shit. this is anyone's game. Oh, neither of these two had really bad games to work with. Ganon's other bad game got a 86, which was Twilight Princess. And then Toon Link got a 73 with Triforce Heroes. Oh, his own bomb, baby. That's what caused his demise. GG's Ganon. Oh, I think he's gonna take the whole thing. I honestly think he's gonna take the whole thing. All right, baby. These two, their games were good. Not that DK looks a little smaller, as we can see here. Yeah, neither of these had bad, bad games for their best game. They were, they were good, but nothing crazy. No masterpieces. At least according uh, to Metacritic. Yeah, Kirby is so fast, bro. Oh my gosh, he is moving through the air, which is one of his biggest weaknesses. That being buffed helped a lot. Bro, he's having too much fun. Dude, DK, okay, we didn't make him faster, but I think he's just smaller. So him being smaller made him so much more mobile. Oh my gosh, he is moving. Oh, and the the catch, okay. Let's go, DK. Oh my goodness, DK, the movement. He's actually benefiting so much from this. It was supposed to be his nerf to be smaller. Oh, this is anyone's game. I don't know. I don't know, what are we thinking? Kirby, DK, call it right before, before it ends. Uh, I, you know, I disagree. I think DK wins. Yeah, the DK up B. That's what we buffed. We can't really see it, but we made that go way farther. So he has a, a big boy recovery now. The co oh, 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 if he were bigger. I think if he were bigger, he actually could have made that. Oh, and there's up there. Yep, yep. Oh, let's go, baby. The DK got it. The smaller DK moves on to round two. You know, it's funny. These two have interacted before in Bayonetta's reveal trailer. I must have missed one. Must have missed one. So Bayo actually ha has a pretty good games. Pretty good games. The best and the worst are pretty close to each other. Very consistent series, which is what matters here. And so her moves are a little stronger. And then Pit, we we only nerfed him. We did, yeah, his games are not that good according to Metacritic. Although everyone who has played Kid Icarus Uprising loves that game. So I don't know. The arrow we only made do 1%. It doesn't even matter. He's still broke. It's he's still broken. He's still gonna win this. I don't even care. Oh, dude, that was a, such a... Oh, that was a screenshot. Editor, get that shit on camera. Feel free to screenshot, fellas. So, okay, the, this pit, he's kind of bringing it back. If he can take the stock before he hits... Before he hits 55, 55. He can do this. No, pit, no way you make this comeback. Three stock comeback. Oh, he said video games don't matter. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there was a forward smash. He would have won the game. He got it. He... He got it. Oh my goodness, bro. The three star comeback only nerfs. I told you. I f***ing called it. I f***ing called it too. This, this character's broken. All right, that's the end of round one. Fellas, who we got taking the whole thing? Place your bets. 
Enter your YouTube. Who, who are you rooting for? Who do you think is going to take the whole thing? Me personally, I want my boy Ike to win. I'm rooting for him, but I'm not biased. Oh, man. Yeah, this is going to be a tough battle for, for Ike. Kazuya being a big boy. However, his smash attacks do less damage, but it's just he's so big that he just sends him far as f anyway. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, Ike. I don't see him doing what Pit... I was going to say, I don't see him doing what Pit just did. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not, not going to say... Okay. We can... Uh, ah. Ah. All right, we got the two furries. These should be not as far as they are. Their games, not that good. Actually, no, they have a trend of having one great game, uh, but the other one, or rather every single other one, not being that good. Oh, wait, it's Banjo Tooie that has worse score than nuts and bolts? That's crazy. Honestly, Tam, I have a feeling you, you, you're you kind of rooting for Banjo here. So congrats, buddy. I know I, you, you rarely get to see Banjo win. It's a good timeline for you. Oh my, oh, okay, buddy. All right, all right. I don't, maybe, does Banjo really deserve our love here? All right, all right. It is one stock apiece. In theory, there is a universe where Fox can come back from this, but. Oh, the big Banjo. Two big Banjos. Yeah, all right, this should be, this should be a wrap. This should not even be close. Although it's just a Ganon, I, I feel like he doesn't know how to abuse his powers. He just needs to, that's literally what I was about to say. He just needs to press the forward smash button and that's it and nothing else. Yep, oh, oh he's a genius. Okay, he wins this. Oh, he wins this, baby. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh, he cannot be the Wario. He didn't have a side B to work with. He was just dead. This is be, be mean to Wario o'clock. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby, it's 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 that time of day. Yep, that was probably one of the quickest matches, if not the quickest matches we've had all day. Let's go, baby, DK and Pit. What do we got? DK here has been buffed a little bit, and Pit has only been nerfed. Remember that he has only he is a worse character in uh, by definition. DK has he was meant to be buffed and nerfed, but it's it's most likely like he was just buffed. Oh my, dude, DK moves so fast. We did not change that either, but I guess it's just a, a product of him being uh, differently shaped. Ooh, baby. Okay, you know, we've we've seen Pit have clutch powers, clutch abilities, but I don't know, Chief. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of in the bag for DK. The up Look at that up bro. That flew. For first time we actually get to see it in action. No, he needs to take the sock. Like, he needed to take the sock like 30% ago. Yeah, baby. DK moves on. Ooh. All right, baby. Semi-finals. Kazuya Banjo. These guys are both enlarged. And they are both weaker in one aspect. One being strength, one being speed. So let's see how it works out. Who we got, baby? Who we got? Oh my gosh. See, the Banjo doesn't need the mobility. His dash attack takes him across the whole stage. Oh, and Banjo takes a first stock, baby. Okay. Will this be a Banjo-Kazooie dub? Taking that cheater-ass Kazuya? Maybe not. Oh man, this is so... That smash, that's all oh, the kick. Yep, Banjo has no air mobility. He is so slow in the air that getting to that ledge is pretty hard for him. All right, that's the first electric we see. Didn't do anything from it. He didn't need it. He didn't need the electric. The Kazuya crotch, baby. It comes back and it's, it's better than the Banjo crotch, I guess. <laughs> Honestly, I think DK has made a great run. A great run. But I think DK, I mean, Ganon's just too big. He's just too massive. Oh, he comes out swinging too. Oh, that's it. That might be it. Oh, the safe. Oh, oh my, the head's guard. Yo, DK, bro. Size does not matter. He is stronger. Oh, the, but that was, that was like pure mind games. The most optimal combo. He read him like a book. Uh, will the DK survive this? Oh my, that is so broken. Usually that's a garbage, trash, awful move. But in this scenario, in this case, it is disgustingly broken. He miss Sometimes Ganon's moves just hit him. Or just miss. Oh, that's not gonna miss though. Okay, baby. <sighs> the King of Evil moves on and faces Kazuya in the finals. Oh, baby. It's all coming down to this. Kazuya, Mishima, and Ganon. Oh, he wanted to use his signature up tilt. But show, show us, Ganon. Show us that being the better game deserves a better character. Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Oh, but they, dude, Kazuya is a killing machine. Right back, spare no time. Oh my goodness. Get it, please, bro, please. Give him a chance. Oh my.
my gosh. Oh, it's so neck and neck, bro. It could be anyone's game. No, Gaina, watch out. Hi, mama. No, watch out. He's right there. This could be anyone. It's, no, it's not over. Oh, he escaped. Oh, oh. Dude. Oh, Gaina, watch out. Ah, oh, he's dead. Oh, he's up there. Ah, oh, he's dead. Oh, my gosh, bro. I don't know who's going to take it. No way that kills. Bro, Kazuya Mishima, the fighting game character, the king of big crotches, baby. A little unfortunate, but listen, Kazuya, Tekken 3 was the third best represented game in this entire roster out of all the games here. So to an extent, he does deserve it. But to an extent, ban Kazuya.